How's it going guys, RXXC here, and today I'm trying to do a little bit of a new series. Um, what I'm trying to do is like a best of three series between two decks uh, that are kind of making themselves known in the meta, or uh, just performing really well, or something that's really interesting. So the first thing uh, I thought I would do would be HTN, or Chaos Titanilius, as you can see on the screen, uh, versus Maximus Dragonoid. And if you don't know what Maximus Dragonoid does, uh, or Maximus Dragonoid Ultra, or no, just Maximus Dragonoid, sorry. Um, he is the Exodia of the Bakugan game. If you have Dan, Winton, and Leah uh, out on the field, you can, or you immediately win the game if the evolution is out on the table. So, uh, it's a very interesting card, uh, a very interesting deck, a lot of cool combos you can do with Dan flipping stuff over. Uh, in this game, he, uh, this is visual playing the Maximus deck, uh, we actually get a pretty good look at what this thing can do. So, uh, we're gonna shuffle up, draw up, and, uh, get ready. Uh, I'll take this time, guys, now to kind of advertise for Matrix Mats. Uh, we are still doing them. People are still ordering them, too, so, uh, we're, we're doing pretty well with them. Um, we'll probably have a sale coming up soon. Uh, but if you want to order a Matrix Max, uh, Matrix, <laughs> Matrix Mat, check them out down in the description, guys. And make sure you use our uh, Inked Gaming code, which is RXXC10. All right, so this is my HTN deck. I, uh, I put this list together myself, um, kind of gearing it uh, towards a couple different things, which was a little bit more of draw power. Uh, you saw that I picked my Nobilius Ultra here. Uh, I roll him out because um, he does... Uh, give me a pretty high B power on turn one, and I usually hit this magic shield here, which puts me up to like 1350. Um, and that's pretty hard to beat. Uh, that Gorthion, though, hits that magic shield uh, and hits about 1200, so he gets close, but uh, he did not open on this turn, uh, so I didn't have to have that issue. He gets a reroll here, uh, does open now, uh, and so I don't see what he picked up, but I don't think it's the magic shield, so he pretty much doesn't have anything to do here. Uh, so I think he's just going to take the two damage. Uh, Nobilius Ultra is a pretty decent Bakugan. Uh, I do enjoy using it a lot. A thing to note about him is that if you roll him backwards, you have a pretty high chance of picking up two cores. Uh, I play Sifting Ashes here. Again, this deck's a little more geared towards draw power. Uh, wanting to make sure that I get my Titan Nilius out when I need it. Um, that's kind of the... The, the main point here, uh, if I have super fuel in my hand, uh, I want to be able to get that thing out there on turn two. Uh, if not, I definitely want to have it in my hand by turn four so I can use it. Um, by that time, I should be on my Nilius uh, to roll anyway. Uh, normally, my pattern here would be next would be playing Pyravian Ultra right here. So um, ignore the uh, crappy colored model here that we don't have that yet. So I just made it blue in Premiere uh, as easily as I can. Uh, but he does a cool flip here, and we both open. So we have a good little brawl right here. When I hit that magic shield on Pyravian Ultra, I do get up to about 10,000 or 1050, I think. Um, but he plays he plays Air Zero and gets his Winton out. So um, he's one step closer to Maximus, uh, but he does lose this fight, so he does take two damage right here. Uh, but he's ahead now, kind of, uh, in his in his sense, because he's trying to get Maximus out. Uh and, you know, do the end game or the obliteration. Um, so I've taken him down for damage. I'm feeling okay. Uh, I see that I have my Nilius in my hand, uh, so I'm ready to go. Uh, this is my little custom Nilius. I don't know if you can see the, the gold on here, but he picks Webam. We roll out, and this Nilius misses. Um, so this Nilius is kind of strange because it is my one that I customized because it used to not roll very well. Uh, and you can see here that he plays Dan. Uh, that will come in handy for him a lot later. Uh, anyway, the Nilius that I was picking, uh, or the Nilius that I'm using here, uh, actually has the ability to pick up two cores. And he's done it a lot. Um, uh, I think you see it in a later video in this series. Uh, this is just going to be game one in this video. I'm going to put out uh, the next two games um, as we go along here. So... Uh, I play Fading Dash in this deck. Uh, again, I want to draw cards, and rolling up my Nobilius is not a bad thing here. Uh, he does get to 1350 pretty much every time I use him, so he's not a bad Bakugan to have uh, and ready to go. He does only do like two damage, uh, but if I land on the Red Shield, uh, Red Fist, I, I do get a little damage boost there. Um, so, he's got Titan Dragonoid coming out. I have my Nilius. 
and I'm hoping to land this turn and open, but that does not seem to happen here. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Um, I get a bad luck here, and then the more bad luck comes because this Maximus comes out on the Dan trigger. Um, so now he has a 2500 B power 10 attack monster on his field. That's the thing about Maximus Dragonoid, guys, is that it is not just a threat because it can instantly win the game. It's also a threat because it is a huge thing to deal with. It is not an easy Bakugan to fight with. Um, so I did not open here, so I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I'm trying to think about my options. Uh, but I know that I want to be able to play stuff next turn in case I have to fight something big. Um, so I go ahead and throw my Titanilius down and take my damage. Um, Alright, uh, and with the quick fire, he does open and get another trigger, but he does see that uh, he has a Tiger Reflex on top of his deck. So he doesn't play it, but he then activates his Winton and charges that Tiger Reflex because it's a flip card and he knows he's going to uh, lose it. So um, I go ahead and lose this fight uh, and take my whopping 10 or so damage, uh, depending on the core there, from this Maximus. It's a big hit and I lose some uh, pretty valuable cards that I have here in my deck. Um, I'm not too, too happy about it, but I know that I have my Titan on this next turn. So I go ahead and pick him up and get ready. I skipped ahead a little bit here in the editing. Um, but let's go ahead and roll out, and I make it, finally. Uh, so if you don't know about HTN yet, uh, when you land on a magic shield, you pick up another core off the field. Uh, and then, again, your red fist give you a bonus as well uh, to damage. So usually you're looking at a pretty high b power with uh, about 15 damage but he drops an inferno wings on me and this pretty much sealed the game away <laughs> um let alone the fact that he was using winton and dan pretty well um and getting lucky uh so uh, i feel pretty bad about it right now but i have a little bit of a play that i think is going to help me um my idea is that i get rid of this maximus by playing wayne uh, which lets you discard a card that was, or an Evo that was played not this turn. So I get rid of that Maximus. Um, and then since I played a card, I can play Wave Slash and get the big boost. So now I'm up to 1800 B power, um, which helps me a lot fighting off against this Gortheon. Or so I thought. Uh, Visual here has other plans for me. Um, he. <laughs> remember, I just got rid of the Maximus. Um. He plays Spirit Guide, which is a reroll for Chaos, which also adds uh, 400 B power. Um, I think at this point he needed just about 200 B power to get up on me. So at this point, I'm already feeling like uh, it's probably not going to work out for me. Um, and he lands sideways on the core, uh, so he does not actually magnetize. Uh, so I was pretty excited, um, thinking that, oh, okay, I'm about to actually get a pretty decent amount of damage off. I think the base damage on Nilius is eight, but he says, no, sir, I have a super fuel. Um, so I'm going to try one more time. He does magnetize. Arc Orthion's a little wonky. It, uh, it doesn't exactly pick up cores every time. So, uh, but he gets the Dan and he gets his Magnus back. It is so annoying. <laughs> I was so mad, so angry. You can see me like holding my hands on my face right here. Um, yeah, it was really annoying because now uh, with all these rerolls and stuff, he's popping his Winton uh, and his Dan. He's getting all these things. He's getting that much closer to Leah, and that's the only piece he needs left to uh, get me here. Um, but uh, it doesn't really matter because this team attack is actually going to do me in. Uh, I take a lot of damage here, uh, and I am not able to survive. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this. Um, in the next couple of days, you'll see game two of this fight, and then we actually go to game three here. So, um, And for this series, I'm probably just going to do three games per matchup anyway, just so it doesn't spoil the ending. Um, but I do lose this game. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all sticking around. 
and I hope you enjoy the battling content coming to you. As soon as uh, Age of Orlis comes out, we're going to have plenty of battles for you guys to watch. Uh, we're just kind of warming ourselves up with that for kind of wrapping up the meta for what we have now before AOA gets here. So thank you guys for watching. Check out Matrix Max down in the description. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.